hot as hell down there. The air is coming in nicely from both sides. It's burning really nice. That log that was not burnt before is starting to uh, get charred up a bit. We have longer than what we want wood in there. Just popper wood we've got in there. Okay, we're going to open up the bottom of the uh, reaction chamber. Don't get too close. Again, no smoke. The handle is laser cut in. There's no weld on the outside. The, everything is laser precision cut. Um, they were these two brackets, for instance, were countersunk in and uh, welded from the opposite side before they put the pyramid-style gasket trough on. Plastic cover on the handle for safety. The normal uh, refilling sequence would be we would take and we would open this up to allow the gases to escape straight up the stack through the only one pass before we open the door. Then we would open the door to catch the first latch and then open it. And now you can see the fire is actually burning quite well there. But we're going to get her showing the gasification coming down here right away now. heat exchanger. The smoke has to travel through uh, two tubes up to the top of the stove through the water cool jacket. It doesn't end there though. We have another uh, 10 tubes going horizontal towards the front of the stove with a 180 degree turn at the front of the stove. Return to the back through another 10 tubes of inch and a half diameter. We take as much heat as we possibly can out of the uh, flue gases before they exit the flute. We're looking at the uh, float water level indicator. It, you can see the water level from a distance. It's uh, very nice and convenient compared to a sight glass or tube. The sight glasses and tubes tend to get discolored or fogged up and then it gets very hard to see your water level. As I said, as you're walking up to the stove you can see if the water level is right. Add the boiler treatment. It's Portage Main uh, Boiler treatment, it's made by certified chemical, very good uh, treatment. Treats it actually treats the metal inside the stove and prevents corrosion. If you keep up on the boiler treatment and check for the active ingredient in the uh, boiler treatment, you will prevent corrosion. You will not have corrosion. So we simply, once we get the stove up and going, we uh, pour it into the stove. Well, I might do this without spilling too. Starting to shower a wee little bit on us here. This is the last thing we have to do to uh, the stove was just started up today. It's our gasifier model. There we go, we've added the certified boiler treatment. You want to do that, check your pH level in your uh, boiler at least once a year, not more often. This is where you could add makeup water too. Very easy to remove two inch cap. You can also put a fill drain line in the house. This is our uh, our uh, float water level indicator. You see the float down like that. It's an indication that you need to add water. Um, ideally, we'll keep it probably in the mid range. 
I'm setting the aquaset, I'm turning it up. It's very easy, you just push the button and up and down. That's the uh, set temperature. We're gonna turn it up a little bit to get it to come on again. There we go. You can set your differential in here. Um, that's the temperature of the water. That's the temperature we set it at, 190, set point. That's the actual temperature of the water, 183. This is the operating aquaset. It turns on and off the uh, the blower to make it. As we take the heat off, the blower will come on and bring build back up the temperature by igniting the wood again. This is the high limit. It is only used if this one fails. If the A419 fails, this one would shut everything down to prevent it from boiling over. We would set it at around 200, 220 degrees, so 212 probably. Um, would be adequate to shut it down. 212. Their Johnson controls are located inside where they're warm. They're not subject to the weather. They give a lot less problems that way being inside where they're warm. We have dual hookups. The uh, top discharge on uh, each side would be the top discharge. So we have the uh, water coming out the top on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. The return water would return down in the bottom of the stove there. And the, uh, let's move this out of the way. So we've got our two return lines um, in the bottom, right and left hand side. What happens is the aquastat actually energizes the solenoid. The solenoid's there so you have a positive air shut off so that the fan, no air can bypass through the fan. Solenoid opens and allows air into the unit as the fan comes on. We have a high output fan blowing the proper amount of air injected into uh, along both sides of the stove. It's injected through special uh, designed air ports. And then we also have air coming in down at the bottom of uh, re the re ignition area of the gases.